All right, so here we are. We got the heads, we got the valves. Right now what we're doing is hand lapping in the valve to the seat. So I'll bring the camera in closer so you can see what we're doing up close. Okay, so here we got the valve and we got some valve grinding compounds. So you're just gonna schmutz a little of that on there. Did you block the hand? Am I blocking it? Yeah, you're blocking the view. I'm totally blocking the view. Joe's here with me. How are you doing? Guiding me through the whole process, because obviously I can't be left alone for two minutes with this, otherwise. Hashtag office pause. Oh, yeah. Hashtag office pause. <laughs> <laughs> Our viewers do get a kick out of that. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I'm okay with it, you know. Pump that pedal. That's right. Oh, boy. So. Get some welding boot up in there. Oh, boy. All right, so we got some valve grinding compound on there, so you just push that into the seat. Take your trusty uh, little suction cup action. Put it right in there. All right. Put that back on, a couple more. You didn't spit on oh, it. Oh boy, yeah, I, I didn't spit on it. I, I feel it's somewhat, the, as a germaphobe, it freaks me out a little bit. I get a couple, oh boy, that's, oh, there we go. Trusty rag, wipe it off. Now you'll be able to see the dulled surface. If we could get that. Yeah. We have to go in close. Where the compound grinded down, right where the seat meets the face. I'll bring that in for a close up too, so you can see the difference between the before and the after. So that's pretty much it, you know. Uh, like you've seen previously, we did the valves, we grinded the face, and we um, had the machinist run the seats out on it. So I'll bring it in now close so you can see uh, the one with the compound, the one without. Okay, so on the left, you could see the valve that we already hand lapped in. You could see that dull surface right where the face meets up to the seat and then on the right that's the unlapped valve so that's what we're going for we got to finish up the right hand head seven more valves and we're all good all right we got the block uh, we're gonna prepare this for putting the heads back on so the first thing we're just kind of doing is got some nice picks here uh, courtesy of PJ thanks PJ we're just kind of picking out the coolant passages, trying to get some of that garbage out of there. We got the vacuum, and also we're gonna try to clean up the deck surface here. So I'll cut. It's nothing spectacular. Just kind of show you what we're doing. Um, get ready to put the heads on.
Okay, so one other thing you want to do for preparation on the block is take a tap and chase the threads that the heads are going to bolt to. Just get all the garbage out of there, some of them get a little rustier. You can feel bottom out, pull it out. You can see all the garbage that you're collecting on that thing. So you're just going to clean it off with the rag and then chase the next hole. Uh, after you do this, Joe is saying what you want to do is get a blow gun and some lacquer thinner, put it in the hole, blow the lacquer thinner out of the hole because you want to make sure you have any oil residue or liquid out of that bolt hole because what that could do is hydro lock the bolt as you're torquing the head to spec and give you a bad reading. So just prepping these uh, threads and block holes for assembly of the head. Had a little bit of rust on it. I'm glad that it's deeper down in the threads. So. Another little tip for you, you know, easy to look over, but you have to get those heads torqued to spec, and that is key. And making sure you have good threads on the block and good threads on the head bolts is an important part of that. Um, off camera I did wire wheel all the head bolts so they're already for reinstallation.